Hi, Greg here from the Caddis Fly Shop, Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Uh, I've been fishing a lot of lakes, uh, both throughout Oregon uh, and California. I've been tying a lot of different prominent and midge patterns. Easy stuff to tie, guys, but so effective. Uh, so join me. I'm going to be tying some zebra midges, some glass bead prominids, some broke back midges, um, copper tigers, you name it. All great flies for the beginning fly uh, tire, but also extremely effective flies uh, both on lakes and also in telewaters. Um, follow along, have a great time. Today I'm going to be tying up this uh, glass bead chrominid in red with a silver wire. A very simple fly to tie, size 18. I would also tie this in a size 20. Crane Prairie, I would not be afraid to tie this in a size 14 as well. Uh, even Pyramid Lake, size 14. Just make sure you have a strong hook out there. You probably can get away with a size 12. Today we're just gonna be using a TM TMCO 200, size 18. But like I said, this could be from 14s to 20s. A uh, little glass bead, size small. You can get these from Hairline. Uni wire, but you can use extra small if you wanted to. And then just a little bit of iced uh, pearl. I would also tie these in black. And then for the thread today, I'm just going to be using a 6 aught uni. Uh, if I had 8 aught, I would use it. I just don't have it. But you could use any red thread that you want. Um, if you wanted to use UTC 70 denier, uh, that's real flossy, really nice body. But today, I'm just going to be using uh, my trusty old uni 6 aught. Okay, we're just going to start off with a thread base about a third of the way back and then uh, just cut your tag out. I'll be fishing these flies under an uh, indicator. Okay I'm just using some of this good old uni wire, ultra wire size small silver. Okay I'm just gonna take a loose wrap come back up to the front. I'm gonna keep that wire on top of the hook just so it gives it a nicer shape um, for the body. And if you have a really flossy fret, thread, great. I don't, so I'm gonna be spinning my thread just to kind of open it up. And as I'm going back, I'm just doing touching turns. I'm even using that wire to kind of, if I lift up, it kind of pushes all the thread neatly against one, one wrap against the other. I'm going to come down a little bit into the hook shank here. I like to come down just where it starts the bend. I'll open up my thread again. And that's pretty much the fly, guys. This is a very, very simple fly to tie. It's great for beginners to learn to get really nice bodies. Touching wraps, nice tapers. If you need to, just stop. Spin it. Open it up. Come up to the front. I get to the front, a couple wraps there. And I'm going for six wraps out on seven. Uh, I've been watching Bruce Berry videos. He's a great tire, by the way. And he's always saying how many wraps and out. So we're going to go for six wraps out on seven. There's two, three, four, five, six. And out on seven right there, right behind. Two wraps, nice and secure, behind the wire, then I do two wraps in front of the wire, kind of tug down a little bit, and then I do another wrap right behind. That wire is going nowhere. If you threw a little bit of Zappa Gap there, um, it's going nowhere. Then I'm going to come back a little bit, about a bead's width right here, and I'm going to get my good old ice dub. Probably uh, Hairline's most popular product. This stuff's amazing. And I just, I just take a little bit, okay? You don't need a whole lot. Just, I'm talking just a little tiny bit. I like to cart it up a little bit. And I'm going to roll this really tight. I got about an inch right there. I'm going to really get it tight. And then I'm going to start where the thread was and work my way up, like so. 
take my whip finishing tool, do a nice four turn whip finish, secure that, really get that tight, and voila, there is your glass bead chrominid. If you got any longer fibers like that, just cut those out. But um, you could glue this if you wanted to. I don't because these flies get smashed. And I find when the wire starts unraveling and you have thread kind of peeling in every direction, they seem to fish better. But you could definitely glue this with Zap-A-Gap um, or a thin, you know, bone dry or some type of like holy, you know, hardest hole. Any of those glues would work. Uh, it does give it a different appearance, a little more shine. Um, but like I said, they're still going to get trashed by the fish when they keep hitting these small flies. And um, I'll fish this under an indicator anywhere from 5 feet down to 25 feet deep. I usually fish it with like some other type of midge pattern and then some type of suspended balanced leech. I would tie this also in the color of black with the uh, silver wire. Just very effective flies. I've had a lot of success with them. Just make sure you tie quite a few of these because like I said, when the, when it's on, whether you're at Crane Prairie, I've had those magical days. If you're down south in the mammoth areas like, like Crowley, those magical days, these things are going to get trashed. And after, you know, they're completely have fallen apart, you'll need to get another one. But that's the uh, glass bead, chrominant. Give it a shot, easy fly to tie. Uh, you should be able to knock these out in a few minutes. Have a great day.